I just hate losing. Basically, I I hate losing in anything. That is how a sportsman is is made up. But the most important thing for me, I don't want to walk out and say, maybe I could have done this. I don't want any maybes. I don't want any what ifs. When I step out into that field, it's a privilege. It's an honor for me. And when I walk out, I want to have zero energy left because that is what I'm supposed to do. That is why I'm selected. I'm not selected because. you know i'm privileged or you know i should be comforted because i've reached the highest level no however hard i've worked for age group cricket this has to be a constant 10 times you know, hard working process on a daily basis because i'm representing my country and there couldn't be a bigger honor for me every time that i step onto the field i don't want to left uh, leave any stone unturned i i hate having the feeling of maybe i could have gone for that catch maybe i could have pushed an extra you know yard for an extra run i i just that i somehow can't process so it is i'm i'm actually always trying to avoid that feeling and that's why i i you know go along about my work in a crazy manner where i just have to put all my effort into every ball that i play field or i'm a part of you know when you go out there and play you get a 100 it's not by chance you need to understand from ball 1 to 90 or 100 how many ever balls you play or test matches you play a lot more what were you doing for all those deliveries so you can repeat it that's consistency for me it's not easy uh, i mean if if you ask me do i get affected by failure yes i do everyone does i'm human at the end of the day um so it's it's difficult to process uh, failure at such a big stage but also you have to understand that you know i i totally believe in the fact that what's meant to be for you will happen we were working as hard as we could all we can do is work hard and put in our best effort as long as your intent is right your heart is in the right place and you're going along the right path and you're doing things with the with the right intent that's all you can do but success and failure is a part of everything that we do in life whether it's sport whether it's you know in in daily life whether you lose someone close to you whether you know it's it's a problem in your job anything it is the truth of life and you need to be able to accept both with grace that's that's the thing that i've learned you can't go gung ho when you succeed you can't say oh i'm i'm the king of the world or you know we are invincible now and when you fail you can't beat yourself down so much that you can't get up again so i think you need to feel the hurt you need to feel where could i have done things differently i think failure is a great way or a great opportunity to analyze what went wrong and to improve on those mistakes because at the end of the day cricket is all about that when you make a mistake while batting you want to improve with the next time you walk out to play or if you play a false shot and you haven't gotten out you want to improve with the next ball and i think life is all about that it's it's about making mistakes on a regular basis but having the courage and the acceptance and the clarity to say okay i have made a mistake i'm not going to be egoistic about it i'm going to lay it down understand what happened improve on it and walk forward we want to give our best effort possible but if you focus on things which are only based on success and numbers and results i don't think you can enjoy the process and we as a team we play so well because we enjoy the process we enjoy being in difficult situations and coming out on top basically what we are doing on a daily basis is competing with ourselves how good can we be when we are put under pressure it's not about coming up against someone or trying to prove someone else wrong it's about bringing our own standard of cricket higher and higher on a daily basis and setting examples the right examples for the next generation to take over whenever that happens this was actually end of 2011 2012 actually when we came back from australia and i figured out the difference or the gap that we have with other countries and i thought if we don't change the way we are playing or i don't change the way i am playing or the way i'm training or thinking or you know eating i can never be among the best players in the world and there's no point in just competing if you don't want to be the best so i had played ipl from 2008 9 10 11 and then 12 ipl 12 was i i i was playing for india i was playing for the national team at the highest level but i hadn't got the success you know that some of the established players did and ipl 2012 again 
had a really really bad IPL season and I was not disciplined at all in terms of my eating and my fitness. I mean, I can't even relate to that guy anymore that I was. I remember coming back home and I came out of the shower, the team didn't do well. I came out of the shower, I looked, my, looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, you can't look like that if you're an international cricketer. You know, I was like, how the hell are you going to continue like this if you don't take care of yourself? That's the time it hit me, you know, and boom, from next day onwards, I just changed everything about my diet. Hitting the gym two hours a day, just taking a day off in a week, um, eating proper lean food. I got away from um, all kinds of, uh, you know, junk. I did not have a cheat day at all. And within eight to ten months, I, I lost about six or seven kgs and then from then on it became such an addiction because I saw the results on the field. I felt quicker, I felt lighter, felt more focused and then I was like, man, this is the path I want to walk. So everything became a learning process for me and I kept learning and learning and learning and now I have a total understanding of my physique. Because I want to maintain the standard that I'm playing at now till the time I finish. You know, I don't want to be standing in the field and not being able to move the way I do right now. It's just not in me to play like that. If I can't do that, I will stop. So that is my vision, you know, I want to be able to contribute till the last day I play for India, the way I'm doing now, with the same energy, the same enthusiasm. So I will do anything and everything in my ability to achieve that on a daily basis. In the World Cup just now that we played, every game my energy was 120%. So I wanted to be the best version of myself and then I based everything around that vision. And then my training, my diet, my approach towards the game, everything changed. Um, and I know that I wasn't the most skilled uh, sports person when I came in, but the only thing that's been constant is working hard on myself and my game. And that was the time I realized, well, if, if the Indian team has to be the best team in the world, we need to go ahead in a certain manner. I didn't feel that, you know, when I walked into play, there was any kind of fear or respect in the opposition uh, corner. So I felt like, I don't want to walk into the field thinking or the opposition thinking oh, this, this is just a, you know, just a pushover, don't worry about this guy, he's going to do no damage to us and he's just playing just like a, another player in the team and stuff. I wanted to make an impact. I knew that um, I have the ability to make my team win and I wanted to be that version of myself where I, if I walk in, I wanted teams to think like we need to get this guy out or else we're going to lose the game. So I thought if, if I can't have that impact on my team, then I'm not doing justice to you know where I am. And if I don't want to be that guy, there's something wrong in my head. Either I've accepted being you know, lower than what I should be, or I just don't have enough drive in me. So I said I'm going to unlock my max potential and achieve what I should be.